Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to make my first how-to video on how to make a homemade trap for less than two dollars. Now you all have probably seen one of these traps. Maybe you have even bought one. I bought one. These things are about 35 to 50 bucks at a pet store and sometimes you can rent them from the pet store but I'm going to show you how to make a fish trap out of a two liter bottle of soda any soda will do. Now you can, you don't have to really have two of these, but I'm going to show you why I have two. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to dump out what you have inside of it. If you want it something that you want to drink, obviously you just dump it into something that you want to save for later. But for now, I don't want this, so we're just going to dump it in the sink. Now the only reason why I bought two of these, and I'll show you a little bit later, is because when you use only one, it's a short distance for the fish to swim around in. So if you take two of them, you can make the, sec the second one, you can cut it a little short, the top of it short, and that way the tube's longer, and I'll show you here in a second. But Now depending on what size fish you're trying to catch, this is going to depend on where you cut your first bottle. Okay, if your fish will fit in here without a problem, you really don't even have to do this first step. But the first thing you're going to do, well, the second step actually, because the first thing you're going to do is take off the wrapping of whatever you uh, bought. And don't worry about the glue. Because you can wipe that up, just clean it off as best you can. I did this yesterday with a uh, Diet Pepsi bottle and just took off as much of this as I could. And it was Diet Pepsi, so I'll show you here in a minute. We'll just rinse it out at the end, but otherwise, you're not really worried. You get off as much as you can. This is a demonstration, so I'm not going to get off much of this anyway, but. First thing you're going to do after that is you're going to cut off this top right here. Now, like I said, if the fish is big enough or small enough to go through here without a problem, you're going to skip this step. But first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut it. The fish I caught last night uh, was a damsel, and he actually was bigger than this. So I cut this off right around here. And be careful you don't cut your fingers off. You want to be as straight as you can be. But if it's not perfectly straight, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Now you're just going to toss this aside. But this next step, you're just going to take this and you're going to cut it just past here a little bit with a little bit of a little better knife is probably working in my favor. But I'm just going to start it with that. But I want to cut the rest of it with the scissors because. It's not easy to get a straight cut with a knife. It's not easy to get one with the scissors either, but just get it as straight as you can get it. Alright, so now while you got it in this stage, you're gonna this is when you're gonna clean it, obviously, because you can get to it. You just rinse it out. Nothing special. No soap. And then just wipe it out with a towel or whatever you want to do. Paper towel. Just wipe it out real quick. But you pretty much have just made your fish trap. But what you're going to do is you just turn this inside out like that. And you put it in your fish tank. Put it on the bottom. Once you get it in water in it, you take a couple squirts and you squirt the water, you squirt your food in there, and you wait for them to go in there. I caught a damsel this morning. I've had it, I had one of these in my tank for two days. Now this one wasn't actually cut too bad, so I technically I probably wouldn't even use the second bottle, but the second bottle would be to make it a little longer. I would just cut it more over here. 
and then it would just be a little bit longer. It gives the fish a little more space to to come in a little farther so he actually gets lost, but this works great. This is only two dollars versus thirty-five to fifty bucks. So that pretty much concludes the how-to video on how to make your own fish trap for less than two dollars. Thank you and hit subscribe.